This is the removal of a 2005 Range Rover monitor for navigation system. Okay, as you can see, we're going to start from the side as we're going to remove the covers from the side. You're going to need torch set, a, a dashboard removal tool, okay, and you might need uh, similar these tools for the removing the vents. First, we start by removing the side cover. Everything's already loose, as you can see, so make it easier for you guys to see. Okay, this cover, this pops out. Okay, and once you pop this out, as you can see, it has clips all the way around. They just snap out. You know, that's why you need this tool to get out. Put it on the side, and then you come and remove the vent. You want to remove the vents from both sides, okay? You're going to go inside. There's two clips inside where you, where you push it inside, and there's two on this side also. Once you once you do that, you, this will pop out easily, okay? You can see there's the two on each side, similar on the other side. Once you, you get that, you're going to remove screws. There's a screw inside, okay? And there's some, two screws on, on the side. And then also, there's one on top on the corner over here, okay? You're going to remove it from there. Once you remove this one and this screws, this piece should come out towards you. Pull it out. Okay. Once you pull it out, you can remove the light and take this cover. Okay? This is it. You take it out. And we're going to go now to the other side, the driver's side. Okay, now we're in this driver's side. Pop this cover again. You can see, same thing. Pull it out. Same tools, okay. Same tools here, okay. This comes out, okay. It's already loose, okay. So it comes out. So you can see. Okay, and then you remove the screw inside here. Screw here and here, okay. And this one. That's the only screw, so pull it out. Okay. You can remove this piece. Okay. Outside. And then we're going to start the top section. Now we come to this cover right here. Again, use this piece to pop this out. Pop it out. Pull it towards you. Okay, as you can see it has clips here so you're gonna pop it up pull it towards you and there you go okay once you take this cover off remove all the screws you're gonna have two screws here and then you're gonna have four six all the screws around this cover remove all the screws once you've taken all the screws out gently pull it up like this and there's only one plug holding this okay that's for the speaker on top once you pop this out you can see on the bottom, oh, it's already disconnected, but that's the one for the speaker. Once you take this, disconnect the speaker, pull it out, okay, and then you come here and you're gonna see this piece. This is the radio section, okay. You're gonna have screws over here holding it. Once you remove these screws, it's two here in this section, the monitor is gonna come out. This is how the monitor comes out. Okay, if, so if you need any repairs on the monitor, touch screen, anything, send it to High Tech Electronic Services in Van Nuys, California, 818-785-8085. And also, if you need any problems with the tuner box, which is right back here, this is where the tuner w uh, box is, uh, the receiver. You're going to remove one screw here, another one down here. There's two on each side, and this whole piece comes out. And that's where the tuner box is for the radio. Okay, and then you put it back. Put the screen back. Put the screws. And then you put the cover. And there you go. That's all you need for uh, removal of the monitor for the navigation.